Hey VC, Steve here. Collection update video time, 1st of 2022. I have some vinyl and I have some CDs. Some new, some used, quite a few. Uh, so this might be a little bit of a lengthy video. Right now I'm listening to Sabotage, Edge of Thorns in the background. I'll turn it down just a hair. Always seems like it's very low to me, but on the phone it picks it up pretty well. But anyway, yeah, this is a killer album. Bought this in 1993, this cassette, and one of those albums that just takes me back to those days. So anyway, I'm gonna carry on with this. Start off with a couple black metal albums. First off, see this at Records Shop. Mayhem's Day, Mysterious uh, Dom Symphonis. Badass shit, of course, we all know, black metal. I first heard this album, I didn't really care for it. <clears throat> the vocals was a no, but I uh, kept on seeing this at the record shop and decided to go ahead and pick it up. This is the first time I've ever owned a copy of this. And this is a Back on Black reissue. You can see it. Anyway, killer stuff. Nice for gatefold here. The lyrics are there, but you can't see a damn one of them. It's a purple against black. That's silly. But whatever. On this translucent purple uh, killer. I pop this in and I pop this on the pop it. Put it on the turntable when I first bought it and uh, the other day and freaking blown away. Second time I ever heard it and I was like, why, why did I put this off? This is badass shit. So anyway, yeah, the, the drumming on this kills. I love how they record the drums. They go across from one speaker to the other one. He does that roll. It just sounds so freaking great. The riffs are killer. I can see where a lot of bands were influenced by this band. There's a couple of riffs I've heard on Dissection Records. My uh, favorite uh, uh, songs on it is Funeral Fog. It's the usual suspects. Freezing Moon, Buried in Space and Time, or Buried on by Time and Dust. Yeah. Pagan Fears, Life Eternal. That's a good shit. Anyway. Yeah. If I could say it again. Mayhem, Day, Mysterious, Dumb, Sathanus. Sathanus. I heard the other people say Satanus. Don't know which one it is. Don't care. Fucking badass shit. <clears throat> Next one. Carry on with the black metal. Uh, Enslaved. I'm not even going to try to pronounce the title of this album. But bought this. Uh, a half Frost and a half Eld. And finally I got a copy of this. First time I ever owned it. And absolutely adore it. Uh, listened to it the other day when it was cold and raining. And it just... It just fit the mood perfectly. This is an outstanding Norwegian black metal album, and you all know this. Most of you told me about it. Anyway, um, this is by Norse Music, Norway, so it's an import, and there's some killer, killer ass artwork on the sleeves. WLP, look at that. Artwork's killer, Viking themed. This one, double LP on gray. And each song, each side has one song on it. I believe there's one song, one uh, LP here has two, and one of them's an instrumental, I believe. I haven't listened to the second LP yet. Stuck on this first LP. I keep on flipping it back over, listening to both of those tracks and absolutely love this album. Yeah. Slaved, whatever the name of it is, <clears throat> show a couple of used things. So, I've had this cassette for years. Uh, OG, I believe, uh, Queensryche, AP, self-titled by EMI. Old as fuck, look how old it is. 
I love this little EP, but uh, thumbing through the used section at the record shop, and lo and behold, I found LG Press of uh, that badass motherfucker on freaking wax. Fucking in damn good shape. Bought for 18 bucks. Freaking stoked to have this in my collection. Hey, it sounds phenomenal. They, whoever had this, took really, really good care of it. Just a little bit of ring wear on the top. But that adds character if you ask me. A little ring wear don't hurt. Still in the original sleeve. And uh, EMI. Oh god, upside down like usual. But look how good condition this thing is for being that freaking old. Either they never really spun this or they just really took good care of records. Anyway, yeah, Queen's right, the EP. Always want to, I need to get in a static sleeve for this. Haven't done that yet, but killer shit. Fuck yes. Another one used. Went to an antique shop uh, in Webb City, Missouri. And uh, there was a section that had a stack of uh, records there. Manly, Neil Diamond, and, and uh, Elvis, and Beach Boys, and you know, typical old shit. And I found this amongst all that. Rainbow <laughs> Rising. And I believe this is OG. Fucking Gatefold by Oyster or Polydor Records. Should have right on a minute. It's in good shape too. Ronnie Dane, James Dio right there and Richie Blackmore Company. Killer phenomenal fucking album. I, a lot, I know a lot of people love this album. So, but my favorite tracks on it Stargazer, Terra Woman, A Light in the Black, uh, Run with the Wolf. This fucking classic 70s fucking gym right here. And there's the vinyl, and it's in really good shape. That's side B, of course, because those all tracks are long as fuck. And look how good shape this is in that label. Good shit. Fucking phenomenal damn album. Alright, so show a couple of CDs and I'll go back to some vinyl I'll just spread the love um, got these in yesterday this is one of them Iron Angel Hellish Crossfire I <laughs> guess nice speed metal from Germany the speed metal logo um, when I looked at the description up it says Power Thrash I don't know what Power Thrash is I've never heard of that but this is kind of thrashy more on the speed metal side. This traditional badassness from Germany. Um, the drum, or not drums, the vocals on this kind of remind me of Rob, Rob Halford a little bit when Rob's not hitting all those high octaves. Um, Freaking love the, the guitar work. This is heavy as fuck too from 1985. Good stuff back of it. This is a reissue. Who reissued this? Ah, can't see it. Thrash Metal Productions, I think. I think that's what it says. I'm not going to try to figure it out. can't see without my glasses. But yeah, Killer Shit, Iron Angel, Hellish Crossfire. Stuck with the uh, the German. This is the came in the same package. This is Exumer, Possessed by Fire. I actually had the cassette. And I should have showed that as well with this. This is actually the first time I ever owned it on CD, and it's a pain in the ass to get out of this case. There we go. Classic artwork. Everybody's seen this artwork. It's a staple, I believe. Um, Zimmer, Possessed by Fire, of course, German Thrash, sounds like the Teutonic Floor, and I believe this band should be in the Teutonic Floor. I like Rising from the Sea, and this one the best. Uh, fucking phenomenal album. 
every track on it. Freaking slays. I'm just so happy to have this in my collection. Killer shit. <clears throat> Two. I only have a couple of vinyls to show. <clears throat> More to show. Anyway, finally picked this up. Possessed. Revelations of Oblivion. This completes my Possessed collection. Uh, I, I freaking love this. When it first was released a couple of years ago, I listened to the first tracks and loved it, but just every time I just never bought it. Uh, was at the record shop, uh, I saw it again. I said, finally, I'm going to pick this up. I did. I skateboard the dude from Gruesome, I believe, just backing Jeff up. Double LP, 45 RPM. And on this milky clear with a black and red splatter. And the guitar work in this is fucking awesome. I love the guitar work. Drums, of course, just vocals. Uh, lyrics in true possessed fashion. Just another classic for uh, their discovery. discovery. Can't say that word. But yeah, possessed. Oh yes, good shit. So another vinyl. Pick this up, have this on CD as well, but got it on LP. Uh, the Aside, Scars of the Crucifix, 2004 release on Earache. I love, I love this album. I think this is a badass motherfucker. This, the title track and alone is worth buying this on LP. But every track on it's badass. Love Glenn Benton's vocals are fucking insane sounding on this one. Uh, but anyway, yeah, guitar solos are badass. Of course, the drummer's badass. They had two other DSI records that I wish I picked up: Essential Redemption and uh, the new one. I can't remember what it's called. But anyway, I picked this one up because it was. Pretty most favorite out of those three and happy to get it just on black vinyl good shit go ahead and show the last vinyl and i'll go to the ucd section portion of this uh bought sanzuzabog tortured hole was at that record shop and i saw the cd it's a digi pack and i was gonna pick it up and then uh Fellas at the record shop know I prefer vinyl, and they said, we got a vinyl version. I said, where? And they produced it, and I bought it for only 10 bucks more than the Digipack. But brutal death metal. Don't know where they're from. Don't really know much about these guys. I just know I love this album. I showed this album before in another video that I deleted. So some of you are, no, I've seen that before. And that's what it was. But... Yeah, killer label. I love that logo. Good shit on black. And uh, I don't know. Is this a 2021 release? I was thinking about doing a best of my favorites of 2021. I still haven't got everything I wanted to show yet. I'm still waiting, so that's why I'm putting it off. But I'll have to look this up. I think this is 2021. Could be wrong. Last of the new stuff. Um, first time I've ever owned a copy of At the Gate Slaughter to the Soul. Or Slaughter of the Soul. Uh, good shit. Nice digi pack. Bought at the same record shop. Bought the same day with uh, San Zuzabog. Uh, I've always liked this album. Uh, don't know why I'm not getting it till now. I think I just listened to it online. Never did see it out in the wild. Never got enough nerve to, I always want to buy this on vinyl, but can't find it on vinyl, so found the CD and bought it and loving it. Fucking killer, freaking melodic Swedish death metal. Good shit. At the gates, slaughter the soul. So, Go to the UCD portion of this. Uh, I'll just show these together. 
found this the other day. Uh, used copies of Dio Strange Highways. I fucking love this album. And this one came out a little bit after uh, this one. Get this out. Blair's just too much. I see the. And these albums just go together to me. So, Strange Highways, Dio, and then uh, this one right here. And Battery's gonna die. Dehumanizer by Black Sabbath. Killer shit. Fucking, I love it. I listen to these albums together quite a bit. They just uh, carry on. I think Dio carried on that doom and grim sound this one has. And this is an ultimate classic Black Sabbath album from 1992. I believe this was 1993. Good shit. I'm going to have to go through this quickly because my battery is going to die. Fuck that battery. Another one, I have this on cassette, and this is the first time I've owned it on CD. It's uh, Black Sabbath's The Mall Rules. I had this on vinyl, but the vinyl got destroyed, so I ended up in cover, so I ended up throwing it away. But now I got it again on cassette, and uh, Ultimate Classic. There's a lot of Dio in here, just realized Rainbow. Dio, Black Sabbath, and this Black Sabbath. Didn't, didn't even think about it when I was pulling these out. But anyway, yeah, this is a killer, killer release. Wish there was not so much glare on it. There we go. Good shit. If you listen to Fools and Mob Rules, <clears throat> found this old ass press of Hidden Treasures, Megadeth. Uh, this, this son of a bitch kills. I love it because uh, most of these tracks are, it's all in one, but they're mostly on soundtracks and uh, compilations. Uh, anyway, I bought mainly for Go to Hell. I fucking love that song. It was on Bill and Ted's uh, Excellent Adventure. And uh, Angry Again was on The Last Action Hero, of course. Uh, Breakpoint was on Point Break with Keanu Reeves and Patrick Swayze. I'm not sure what No More Mr. Nice Guy was on or Diadems. Diadems is a badass track on there too. And Paranoid, I believe, was on um, Nativity in Black, uh, Black Sabbath Tribute. No, I believe two, maybe it was one. Yeah, that's Killer, Killer Megadeth. I guess it's an album. Got seven tracks, I'm not sure. Good shit. <clears throat> And last but not least, 1993's Anthrax, The Sound of White Noise. Uh, when I first heard this album, I liked a few tracks on it. I liked uh, Only, I believe it was on the radio. Black Lodge was on the radio. Uh, really digging, digging this album right now. Um, now I believe this is OG. I believe it is. I'm gonna have to look into it. But comes with this big ass poster. Good, good fucking album. We'll listen to it again later. Um, John Bush, of course, placed, replaced uh, Belladonna after perseverance of time, and they came out with this. John Bush is from Armored Saint, you all know, but Pottersfield only, uh, High Pro Glow, Black Lodge, Burst. I think Burst is actually my favorite track on this. But, yep, Anthrax, Sound of White Noise, finally got a copy again. Uh, the cassette I have is destroyed. I should throw it away now that I got this. So, anyway, that's my collection update video. Didn't realize it's going to be 20 minutes long, but it is what it is. You all have a freaking fantastic day. Closing out with some sabotage, edge of thorns in the background. Yes. Y'all have a great day. Later.